everyone, my name is Amaka and this is Lizama Stitches. You're welcome to today's tutorial. I'm so glad to have you here. If you're here to subscribe to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and subscribe. And also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll be notified. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a cape top with keyhole. So let's get started. So this is my fabric. I folded my fabric. Now my fabric is folded in two. Now I folded it into two. So I'm going to fold it again into four. So I folded it into four. My fabric is folded into four. I'm going to start by, by marking the length of my top. The length of my top is 22 inches plus half inch hemming allowance. I'm going to use half inch to hem this top. But you can use one inch to hem your top, but I'm going to use half inch. So the length of my top is 22 inches plus half inch hemming allowance gives you 22.5 inches. So I'm going to mark 22.5 inches just like this. So I'm going to cut it. Okay. So I've cut it. So after cutting, I'm going to notch here. Now this midpoint, I'm going to notch this midpoint just like this. Just a little. So I'm going to open it. So I want to cut the neckline. Now this is the notch. This is the midpoint. From this midpoint, from here, I'm going to mark. My neck width is 4 inches. So I'm going to mark 4 inches. The back neck width is 4 inches. So I'm going to mark 4 inches. And the back neck depth is 1 inch. So I'm going to mark from this midpoint. This is the midpoint. Now from this midpoint, I'm going to mark 1 inch. This is my 1 inch. And I'll connect it to this point. Now, from this midpoint, now this is, take note of something. This is the back panel and this is the front panel. This is my front panel and this is my back panel. Now, from this midpoint, I'm going to mark, I'm going to make, take my neck, my front neck measurement. The front neck depth, the front neck width is also 4 inches. The front neck width is also 4 inches. And the front neck depth is 3.5 inches. This is my 3.5 inches. And I'm going to connect this point to this point. So now I'm going to cut it. So after cutting, I'm going to turn it back. I'm going to turn it back so that I can take my waist measurement. This is how I'm going to turn it. I'm going to open it this way. And I'll turn it. And I'll turn it this way. Now, this is the front panel. Now, this is the front. And this is the back. This is the front, this is my front panel, and this is the back panel. So I'm going to turn it again. I'm going to fold it again into four, so that I can draft my waist, take my waist measurements. 
Now, in doing this, in doing this, you need to be careful. Take your time to arrange your fabric very well. It's very simple. It's a simple thing. So I've, I've arranged my fabric. I've placed it again. I've arranged it again. Now, in case you didn't understand what I did, let me use, let me illustrate with this paper. Maybe because of my, in case you didn't understand what I did because of the size of my table, let me illustrate with this paper. Now, let's assume this is my paper. After cutting the circle, now I had to take my, I had to open my fabric this way. I opened my fabric this way and I had to notch the midpoint of my fabric and I opened it after opening I had to take my my neck measurement now this is my back this is my back neck width this is my back neck width and this is the back neck depth while this is the front neck this is the front neck width and this is the front neck depth this is my back neck width and this is my back neck depth. This is my front neck width. And this is my front neck depth. The front and the back neck width are the same. Take note. Now, after drafting my front and back neck measurements, I had to cut it. I had to cut it. Now, after cutting it, I opened it this way you see when I open it this is the back panel and this is the front panel okay now take note this is the front panel and this is the back panel so I had to open it this way when I opened it this is the back panel and this is the front panel and I had to fold it again you see when I fold it this is the front panel and this is the back panel so I folded it again into four so that I'll be able to take my neck my waist measurements now I have another tutorial on how to make a no sew cape top with keyhole. Now the only difference between that that tutorial and this one is that that one was not sewn and it doesn't have front slits. This one is going to have front slits. So in case you don't understand what I did here, you will have to try to watch that video so that you can understand better. I'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box below so that you can check it out later. Now this top the length of this top determines the length, the, your sleeve length. The length of this top is going to determine your sleeve length. So after taking your, after taking your, the, the length of the top, also take the length of your, your sleeve length. Now, how do you take your sleeve length? You take your, you, you start by, now you're taking your sleeve length to know if the sleeve is too long or too short for you. Now, for you to know your sleeve length, you have to take your shoulder measurement. Let's assume your shoulder measurement is 7 inches. Now, 7 inches. You mark 7 inches. Let's assume that your sleeve length is 16 inches. So, from the 7 inches, you're going to mark 16 inches from the 7 inches. But when you're doing this, when you're taking this measurement, also consider the length of your top to know whether the length of your top is okay for you. Whether it's too long or too short. The same way if you're taking your blouse, your the length of your blouse. Also consider if it's going to affect the length of your, your desired sleeve length. Whether the sleeve length is, will be too short or too long for you. So now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my vertical waist measurement. Now my vertical waist measurement is 14 inches. So from this point, I'm going to mark 14 inches. Now, this is 14 inches. So, I'm going to extend this with an horizontal line. Okay. Now, from this point, 
I'm going to take my waist circumference, miss waist measurement on this line. So my waist circumference is 32 inches. 32 divided by 4 gives you 8 inches. So from this point, from this midpoint, from this center, from this point, I'm going to mark 8 inches. Now this is 8 inches. This is 8 inches. Plus 2 inches for ease gives you 10 inches. Now you can decide to use 1 inch for ease. It just depends on how free you want your top to be around the waist. So I'm using 2 inches for ease and that gives you 10 inches. 8 plus 2 gives you 10 inches. So I'm going to mark 10 inches here. Now this is my 10 inches. This is my 10 inches. From this point, I'm, from this line, I'm going to go down by 1 inch. I'm going to mark 1 inch. And from this line, I'm going to come up by 1 inch. Now, from this point, from this point, I'm going to mark half inch. And from this point, I'm going to mark half inch. So I'm going to connect it. I'll connect it this way. So this is my belt hole. I'm going to, this is my keyhole. I'm going to cut this open. So I'm going to open, I'm going to open it with this blade because I want it to be neat. I want to have, okay. So I have an opening here now. I'm going to open it. Use my scissors to cut it neatly. So I'm going to slit to the front. Now take note, I'm not slitting the back, I'm only slitting the front. So after slitting it, this is what I have. So I'm going to turn it this way. So this is how to sew your keyhole. You put your hand here. Dip your hand here and you grab here and you grab this one. Place it together and you sew. When you sew it, you turn it to this part, you turn it to this part and you grab this two, you sew. You grab this two and you sew. You know, that's what you do until you sew it round. So the same way you sew here, that's how you sew here too. Now, after that, I have my placket here. Now, this placket is for the front panel. It's for the button opening, this opening. Now, this is, now what I have here, now this is, From here to here, I've ironed interfacing on my placket already because I want it to be firm. Now, now this is 3 inches, 3 inches by 21 inches. When I attach it, whatever is left, I'm going to cut it off. Now, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. This is my front panel. This is my front panel. Now, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it this way. I'm going to attach it this way. Now, I have 3 inches here. Now, from here to here is 3 inches. Now, I've ironed half inch. This is half inch. I've ironed half inch inside. And this is also half inch. Now, when I fold this half inch and this half inch, which means I folded 1 inch inside, and I'm going to be left with 2 inches. Now, when I fold it this way again, now I'm left with 1 inch. So, this is what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it this way. I'm going to place it this way 
right side facing wrong side i'm going to place it this way i'll place it this way and i'll sew it i'm going to sew it to this point now after sewing it with this half inch this half inch that i ironed inside i'm going to now i'm going to have something like this I'm going to have something like this when i sew this in with this half inch i'm going to have something like this then this half inch that i folded inside i'm going to turn it this way and place it on this part and i'll sew it and i'm going to top stitch now after sewing this i'm going to i'm going to turn this this way and i'm going to sew this i'm going to top stitch I'm going to do it neatly now the same way i'm i'm going to do this i'm also going to do this i have the i have a placket for this too so i'm going to do the same thing on this one as well now after doing that you see that the one this one inch that i'm going to sew in i've replaced it here this half inch that i'm going to sew in i've replaced it here because you know i'm not losing anything any fabric I also have this one now this one is for the neck this is going to serve as bias for the neck i'm going to use it to sew the neck i'm going to use it to sew the neck to tidy up the neck from i'm going to after sewing this i'm going to start from this point and i'm going to use it to tidy up the neck i'm going to do it neatly now after that i have my belt here now this is my belt i've cut out my belt now this belt is now this is five inches five inches by 22 inches five inches by 22 inches and i also have the same thing here i want my belt to be long so this is five inches by 22 and five inches by 22 so i'm going to join it together this way i'm going to take it to my sewing machine i'm going to join it and i'll sew it so that because i want my belt to be long so I'm going to sew it. After sewing it, I'm going to turn it and sew it with half inch. After sewing it with half inch, then I'm going to I'm going to leave a space where I'm going to where I'm going to use to turn out turn the belt inside out. Turn it to the wrong side, to the right side, from the wrong side to the right side. So now I'm going to do that. After that, I'm going to hem I'm going to hem this part. I'm going to do it neatly. I'm going to hem it. I'm going to hem this part. And I'll do it and show you the finished look of this top. So this is my top. I'm done sewing. Now this is a belt hole. This is a keyhole. This is my belt. This is my belt. This is a keyhole. Now this is a placket. Now this one is going to overlap this one. You see? It's very it's very easy. It's very easy to make. This top is very easy to make. So I'm going to wear it and show you what it looks like. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to ask questions. I'm going to be in the comment section to answer all your questions. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Lizama Stitches. We'll come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye. So guys, this is the top. The top is beautiful. Yay. <laughs> so follow the steps and make one for yourself. It's very easy. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.